Good everyone, this is Damres Photography and today I'm going to be talking on skin retouching. Yes, this is going to be a skin retouching tutorial. So if you've not subscribed, if you've not liked this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I'm begging you guys. So right now we're going straight to the skin retouching tutorial. So there are three steps to my skin retouching. One is frequency separation next is uh the dodge and bone me i don't really do lots of dodge and bone i'm just going to do a sharp sort of dodge and bone you get just on the on the face of the model and then next is the skin white the eye whitening you get so i'm going to be doing an eye whitening i'm going to drop an action panel in the description below so you can download my action panel for the skin whitening if you don't have the action panel so let's get down to frequency separation and to have to do frequency separation we have a layer here so you just click on ctrl j to make another layer the first one will name that loaded layer this is where we'll be working on the colors this is what we're working on the colors and then the top layer will name that the high layer and this is where we'll be working on the texture the colors is where we'll smoothen the skin to blend all the edges we'll blend the edges together blend from highlights to shadows you get Blend, blend highlights to shadows, blend the transitions from highlights to shadows on the on the color layer and for the high layer that's where we're going to be using to clean up the image that's the first thing we use, we use it to clean up the image using the clone stamp tool so first of all let's set up our frequency separation let's put this into one group and name that fs which means frequency separation so i'll open that so i the high layer and then i'll just click on the low layer then I'll go to filter, then I'll go to median. For frequency separation, most people use median, what they call Gaussian blur for frequency separation, but I like using median because we don't have lines that is much the, the, the transitions are usually smoother while using the mixer brush tool if you use in median and you don't see all those or some lines there. So it's for me it's better, it's a better a better technique using median so i just click on the median and then i like using from 8 to 16 for my for my medium the radius for my median but then again i'll advise you depending on the image uh that will work that's what will determine the median you should use just make sure that you're using a medium whereby all the all the details of the skin all the lines on the skin is not blurred out if you can see right now if we're using a radius of 16 all the lines of the skin is blurred out already let's pick a radius of 9 and see so 9 is still i think 9 is still too much 9 is still too much so let's use 8 okay so this is 5 so you don't increase the driver like that i think seven will be okay for this image okay i'll just use seven then i'll go to my high layer i'll own that then i'll go to image apply so for this layer i'll change the layer to low and i'll change make sure the blend mode is on subtract opacity at 100 scale at 2 offset at 1 to 8 then you click on ok then you change then you change the blend mode here to linear light ok so i'll go back out on the high layer which is the and um, texture layer i'll first go through my image and see the things i want to clean up on the image you get i'll pick my clone stamp tool and then I'll clean up the image while making sure I'm on the high layer you get so right now I'm just going to clean up the image
So I think that's all for the image cleanup. That's using the clone stamp to clean up the image. So that's before, after, before, after. Let's see. I zoom in. in. Before, after, before, after. So that's what you do. You just go through the image and clean up the things you don't want from the skin, and then you go to your low layer. So this is where we use the mixer brush to to smoothen the transitions from text from um from highlights to shadows so i'll go to my mixer brush tool i'll make sure i'm on a clean brush then i'm going to be my wedge will be on 15 my load will be on 30 my mix on 30 my flow on 30. also make sure you're on a soft round brush then you just start smoothing the transitions from lights to shadows you get just try to go through the image and then just smoothing those transitions so you see around here we're just going smoothing that transition you can see we're having a highlight around here and we'll just have to just smoothen the transitions So that's all for frequent separation as you can see. You can see before, after, before, after. So right now we are done with the skin with the frequent separation for the skin. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to do a quick dodge and burn. Normally you do dodge and burn using your curves layer, but this dodge and burn I'm doing is quite a quick one. So what I'm going to do is go to layer, I'll go to new and I'll go to layer and I'll click on soft light i'll change the mode to soft light and i'll kill click on the fuel with soft light neutral color 50 percent break i'll click on that and i'll click on okay now I'll pick my brush tool i'll make sure my opacity at one and then my flow is at one percent my opacity at 100 my flow is at one percent and i'll make sure i'm on my brush tool anytime i want to dodge i'll make sure my brush is on white then if i want to then burn i just toggle this my brush tool to black and then i burn so right now I'm on the black, which means I want to burn. Like I said, I'm really doing a fast paced dodge and burn. I just want to highlight some part of the image that needs to be highlighted, like the eyebrow here. I want to highlight the detail in the eyebrow. Also want to bring out the detail of, of the eyelash. So we have before, after, before, after. Last but not least on skin retouching, I'm going to whiten my eyes. So like I said, I'm going to put the action panel on the description below so you can just download it. So you just go to your actions and then click on the iron and iron see whitening after you've installed it on your system. Just click on it and it has loaded. So you just go, go to photo, filter, when you open it and then change that field to 70 you can use that 100 percent but i prefer using that 70 because i usually feel it's too much for me so that's why i like using that 70 field but you could use that 100 if you feel it's okay for you you get so i'm just going to paint into my whites mm, make sure your brush and opacity that 100 your flow and uh, opacity that 100 and you paint on the paint on the eyes. Use the black brush to clean up any part you've over painted. You've painted outside the whites. Use the black brush to paint it out. Like right, to clean it up, just to clean up. Same thing with the teeth.
before, after, before, after. So you of that and you can see if you put all that into one folder, you will see what we've done. We've gone from if this to this. Uh let me put just this. This is my background layer, then put just this into one folder and name that skin. And let me pull that. So if you see before, after, before, after, before, after, let's zoom in. So you can see. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. So you can see, look at how the skin has a smoother transition. So if you enjoy this tutorial, if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial have a wonderful day guys